In today's video, I want to talk about how to politely and decisively say no to a social invitation. This can be really hard, especially if you're a people pleaser. It may feel almost impossible, it may feel really uncomfortable, but it's definitely something that we all need to do from time to time. If you're the type of person that is always saying yes, then you're probably feeling stressed out, burnt out, overwhelmed, resentful, and maybe even trapped by the pressure of expectations from other people. But saying no doesn't have to be stressful. And I'm here to remind you that it's okay to have healthy boundaries and to sometimes put your needs before the needs of others. It doesn't mean that your relationships are going to fall apart. And it doesn't mean that people will stop liking you. But what it does mean is that you can give yourself some time back, some space, and you can feel a little bit better. So how do you say no in a way that works for you? The first thing you need to do is to acknowledge the invitation. So step one is to show some appreciation and some respect for the person who's invited you. So you could say something like, thank you so much for thinking of me. That's really lovely of you. And this just sets a positive tone. Step two is to give one reason. So you don't need to over explain. You don't need to justify yourself. You don't need to overcompensate. Just one reason is fine. So it could be something like, thank you so much for the invitation. Actually, I already have plans that day, so I'm not going to be able to make it. Or thank you so much for the invitation. I really need some downtime this weekend um, because otherwise I'm going to be really frazzled by the time I get to work on Monday. So I'm not going to be able to make it. And that's all you need to say. Step three is optional. And this is if you want to maintain uh, contact, if you want to meet the person again, then you can say something like, how about we meet up next week? Or you could say something like, How about we meet up for brunch instead of dinner? I get really tired in the evenings and I want to be my best self when I see you. This way you're maintaining that connection with the person and you're making it work for you on your terms. Step four is all about self-compassion. And this is really important because if you are a people pleaser or you struggle with saying no, then it's likely that you're going to feel guilty and you may change your mind because the guilt is too much. So practicing self-compassion and remembering that it's okay to have healthy boundaries and that it's normal to have healthy boundaries can be helpful. You could also try out some affirmations just to remind yourself that it's okay. So here are some examples of some affirmations and you could repeat them out loud to yourself. You could write them down in a journal. You could put them into the notes in your phone and read them. Affirmation number one is, I deserve to feel peace and contentment. Affirmation number two is, it's okay to set healthy boundaries for my well-being. Affirmation number three, it's not my responsibility to regulate other people's feelings. So there we go four steps how to decline a social invitation. With a little bit of practice, it will feel easier and easier each time you do it. If you liked this video, please subscribe, hit the thumbs up and let me know how it went for you.